Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Lara Tips. In this video, we are talking about some of the smaller changes, but it can have really big impact in your application. So now let's see the comparison with the zero. So currently I am running PHP 7.4 here. And now if we compare zero with a string, let's say foobar or any string, which is not a number, then if this evaluates to true, it will equal one. And if it's a false, it will equal zero. Now let's see what happens in PHP 7.4. So if we run this PHP other changes, now you can see here it is returning true, which means that zero is equal to this foo bar. So below PHP 8, if we performed this kind of operations, we're comparing zero with any kind of string other than the integer string. And by saying integer string, I meant like this. So let me remove this. So when wherever you have compared zero with a string, then you would get always true, which is kind of shocking. So before PSP8, what it used to do was, it used to convert this string into integer and then it would compare. And whenever PSP tries to convert string into integer, so it can't convert the string to an integer. So it would always convert that string into zero and then it compares, which means that zero is equals to zero, which means true here. But in case of PHP 8, this is not the case. It will return the false. So let me switch to PHP 8 here. And if I run it, you can see here it is returning zero, which means it is evaluating to false. So first of all, it will convert number into the string and then it will compare and then it will return the result. So this is the minor changes, but you might have used this kind of things in your applications. So this can be anything that might be in a variable, let's say, and it might have been passed from the functions and you might have compared with a zero in your application. That might be the case. So in that case, it will break your application. So let me comment this. And also there are some other changes. Let's look at this string length function. So it accepts the first as a string. Now, if we pass array here, so let me switch to here, PHP 7 here. And if I run this code here, you can see here it is just giving us the warning, but not throwing an error. So in many functions of the PHP, if we even pass the wrong parameter, then it will show warning in some of the functions and it will throw error in some of the functions. But now in PHP 8, all those are consistent and all those will throw error. So let me switch to PHP 8 here. And now if I run this, you can see here it is throwing an error. So every function that does not accept the expected argument or property, then it will always throw error. So in case of the array chunk also, if we run it in PHP 8 here, so you can see here it is again throwing the error. That second argument must be greater than zero. And if we had run this again in the PHP 7, then it would only throw the warning. So these are also some of the minor changes that we need to know when migrating from PHP 7 to PHP 8. In the PHP 7 application, it would just give us the warning and doesn't throw any error and our code would just run and we would only know about this error when our customers tell us. Yeah, but in PHP 8, we will know it whenever we are developing the application. So that's a very good change. So I'm only showing you here two functions, but there are a lot of functions and you'll know about that whenever you are developing the application. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.